Donovan team. Fascinating story. Before the money and you know all the stuff came, I was just a kid from Cartersville that had a dream, you know, to play a professional sport, you know, and be successful doing that. In 2009, Donovan Tate was a high school kid from Cartersville, Georgia. We recruited him, and I, it's so long ago, <laughs> I hardly remembered it, but I do remember him out of high school, and he was a really good athlete. He uh, was a very athletic young man at the time, and uh, we just, like I said, thought he was a very good player even back then. A two-sport All-American, Tate ultimately committed to the University of North Carolina to play football and baseball, but those plans quickly changed. With the third selection in the first round of the 2009 first year player draft, the San Diego Padres select Donovan Tate. I ended up signing with the Padres in 2009, and uh, yeah, got on the roller coaster ride then. Tate received the biggest signing bonus in club history, $6.25 million. The Tin Caps, Tate has RBI number 16. You miss playing football? Uh, you know, I have, I have times, but you know, baseball is where I'm at. It's where my heart is now. Tate's heart may have been in baseball, but he still struggled. I thought I had everything figured out, you know. I got this, you know, chunk of money, and I'm a kid, you know. I'm going to make decisions not based on, like, reality, you know. And I don't, I don't think that I was necessarily ready to make those adult decisions at the time. On the field, he faced injuries. Off the field, he battled substance abuse issues. Two failed drug tests, went to rehab two times to deal with substance abuse. With me not really being able to make grown-up decisions, uh, not really having a lot of guidance, and you know, having been thrown into an adult world um, and not really knowing what to do. What was the low point? Um, I think it was 2013 when I checked into my second rehab. I think that was kind of the, the tipping point. Fortunately for Tate, he did not have to face his problems alone. I had support for sure. So I got married September 6, 2013. Um, and I think that, you know, me having the responsibilities of somebody else, you know, kind of made me understand like that I had to be a man. You know, that really, you know, changed my life, you know. And then I started having kids after that. And, you know, my kids, it's like, I can't let my family down. After eight years of minor league baseball, Donovan Tate knew something needed to change. The desire to play and the drive to compete in baseball again just wasn't there, you know, and that's when I decided to just go home and be dad and be around my girls for a little bit. Saturdays would come, you know, the football season would get here and I would, you know, think about what if, you know, what if I would have done something different. I knew I still had the desire and passion to play football. I was just like, hey, you know what, why not, you know, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm 26. I, I don't have any more time to waste, but, you know, like, go out there and try to, you know, have fun again. Arizona took a shot on him, and he's a true freshman at quarterback now. With the Padres footing the bill, 27-year-old Donovan Tate is now a freshman walk-on for the Wildcats. Do they give you a hard time about being the old guy? <laughs> they do. G-pops, grandpops, I've heard a lot. You know, that's kind of my name around there. Sometimes I forget he's just a freshman because he's an older guy, but uh, it's been great to have him in the program. I think he's got a new view on life. You know, he, he's very humble. He's very appreciative of a second opportunity. And he's kind of sets the example because he's kind of been there, done that. What have you learned from the younger guys? I'm learning football again from them, you know. I'm learning kind of how to, what to prepare for, how to prepare for it, you know, what to look for in defenses. I'm learning how to be a kid again with them, you know, because I, outside of it, it was like, hey, you know, got thrown into the adult world and having to make adult decisions, and now it's like, just learning how to be a kid again, have fun, you know, and help them any way that I can. Do you think Donovan can play for you guys? Oh, absolutely. He wouldn't be here if we didn't think he had a shot to play. And not just play, play at a high level. What's kind of your goal? What, what do you hope to accomplish over the next four years? I don't necessarily know. I'm not going to say sit here and say, oh, you know, in four years I'm going to be in the NFL doing this, or in four years I'm going to be doing that. Like, I just really just kind of enjoy the moment, enjoy being around the group of guys that I'm with, and, you know, we'll see what happens after that. You 